with the people, yeah. As you can see, we are, when the tide comes in, we are literally within 10 foot of the sea. I've got brother, sister, and then all my family. They're all on the canvas. Like I say, the rest of the building work here is, is literally just the same. Well, I've got my two nan, no. Yeah, I've got my two nans and my two granddads. Got my mum and dad, um, two brothers, and then I've got a great nan, nan and granddad, and like loads of aunties and uncles and cousins. My nan and my step granddad, who live together right near my mum, and I've got another uncle and auntie who live down Seaview. I think that's about it. Oh, my dad and my step and my step family, most of them live downtown. My nan and granddad also moved from London to come and live uh, by the Silver Jubilee. Sam, Michelle and Kenny all went to Furthwick um, and I've now got three grandchildren. Um, but unfortunately, the eldest one doesn't go to Furthwick, but she, she's doing very well. My dad used to come down here when he was a kid on holiday to Forney Bay um, Caravan Park and he loved it with his mum and dad and we lived in London and the area we lived in was really quite rough and at the time we just wanted to get away from it and we moved to Canvey because of the Canvey spirit. My parents have moved here for quite a long time now so they won't be like new here and also my brother's been born here as well. But my sister was born in Vietnam. It seemed different and quiet, and it, it seemed a little bit smaller than where I used to come from. But then I thought, it, I, I think it's better here because um, it's, you know that there's no more violence, like it's, there's less violence here. The father had made some bread. I mean, basically he was a baker and he made about half a dozen loaves and he gave four away and these four customers came back the following day and asked if they could have some more. It's got more things to do for children and it's got quite a lot of family places to go. It's a lot different to where I live. I know a lot of people from different schools because there's three schools on the island but I know a lot of people in my year and the year below and the year above in like other schools, just not just my school. People like don't get jealous, it's just because you all know each other, so I don't know, I can't really explain it. But you just all know each other, you're all close, you're friends. We play football with Furthwick a lot. We're like good friends with them because we used to go to primary school with them. So we, and I know a few from Cornelius, like used to go to primary school, so we're all good friends really. We have a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky not many people get um, like missed out. Is everyone's got at least one friend, yeah. at least, well, at least two in this school. Um, we're lucky. Being on an island, it's like either way you go, you're gonna hit a place where you have to cross something to get to it. If you're in a place like I don't know, South End, Benfleet, you go whichever way you want. You can go into another place without knowing that you've done it. Like I say, the community spirit's lovely. Everybody knows each other, knows your business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, your children, you feel safe, you, you know, when your kids go out, you don't worry about them so much. Can't get away with anything, no. You can't do anything without other people knowing your business, so everybody knows everybody on this island. In biggest in the south of England for a camping shop, this is, in square footage. For Nan and Grandad, uh, it was a place they used to come on holiday when they were young. Uh, a lot of their friends from the area of East London moved down here onto King's Holiday Park and places like that. Um, so their whole community 
has kind of moved down here. A lot of their friends now live on Canvey. My nan's house, it, they used to have caravans over there where people could go for holidays. And then they just made it into a residential place where they've got mobile homes, but they're actually in the ground and you can't move them. And a very friendly place, that's what is unique. The clock at the very top here, which you can see, we actually still keep in our other depot. It's hidden in a warehouse now, but that used to be quite a, a landmark on Canvey. A, a lot of people we always used to come by here just to see the time. We're a vibrant, bustling town, but people know each other. Um, you know, that family members, friends, um, they meet. Um, it's a lovely feeling to be part of a, a community, which you don't get, you know, very often nowadays, maybe in smaller villages. No, no I've, I've personally left twice. I moved to Suffolk for four years with my family came back and then I tried moving again, I went to Babylon, I went to Westcliff, but I still come back and now I'm looking for my own home. From, from A to Z, realistically, we do, heck, everybody who wants to go camping could get everything they need here, plus the fact we do a lot of general stuff like clothing, waterproof, wellingtons. And having the trained personnel to keep an eye on them, which also, even though you've got the trained personnel, the members turn out with their children, grandchildren, it's another pair of eyes. Friends don't really care what colour you are. I'm 14. I'm 14. 14. 14. 14. My mum's like on telly, she's an extra. Uh, my dad's a sign writer. And we already had six foot in our house, so we had to go out the upstairs window into a boat and we rode down our turning. <laughs> and uh, got on a bus and they took us off to Bentfleet School which uh, we stayed there but nobody knew it was open so my mum thought we'd drowned she thought we'd lost us, she didn't find us for three days but finally they found us and then uh, it took about 12 weeks before we came back onto Canada again because we all had to dry it out you know. you know I can walk to work in the morning and speak to 200 people that know me We've got like the big field for football, then we've got the goals, but then there's no nets. The only thing we've really got is a swimming pool, and that's not the best swimming pool. Keeping the goals up yearly for kids to play in, because really they go down at the end of the season. I think somewhere like Waterside would be an ideal place for Canvey Football Club to move to, because it's so much more visual as people are going on and off the island. I certainly have, even in the time that I've been here, noticed a change in the size and the number of people that are living here um, and it, it has had some negative effect, effects in the, the um, transport for instance um, obviously that that's always been an issue on Canby. I think it needs another road because there, um, there's only two roads and that's right near the roundabout and um, a few weeks ago a motorbike crashed there and you couldn't get onto Canby at all. Well everybody keeps saying they want a road off, a third road off and uh, though I suppose we'd like a third road off. But if we did have a third road, we'd have a lot of houses coming with it. The government's not going to spend millions and millions, not even your gateway will, without at least some payback. And so I think we'll have a lot more of our island, which is very vacant over in the west. There's lots, there's 1,300 acres there of green belt. So people have got to make their mind up. Do they want 
third road off the island and more houses or do they want to stay where they are because our population is not going up our population is more housing because there's less people in each home i think the average on canvey island is about 1.8 or 9 per home i've worked with a, a a lot of young people on the island and their attitude is absolutely amazing. We, we have a youth community volunteer group which consists of the three schools on Canvey, three secondary schools on Canvey, all working together. Maybe like some place where they can hang out or like a cafe where we can just all sit down and do what we like. If you did like children's nightclubs. Like if you want to go um, bowling or something, you have to travel off the island. Benfleet has a lovely new library. It is a real shame. I think there should definitely be a bookshop. The visitors to the Thames from the continent, I'm not quite sure of the figures, but it is a very significant number. And of course, they're, if they're waiting for the tide to go up into London or what, we're here. It's a mountain bike, it's purple and silver. It's actually quicker to get everywhere on Canvey, it's, it's dead flat. And uh, it's faster to move around on a bike than it is in a car. I was testing out my new speedo on my new bike and somebody kicked a ball out by accident and I went over it and I green stick fractured it all the way up there. The product that we make is space orientated and therefore we need the space to be able to do what we do. You know, we've got the sea wall for instance, which you find on a Saturday and Sunday is absolutely full up with families. And uh, it's quite, quite a distance around in fact, so over 10 miles for the full sea wall. And just yesterday I had um, I was riding with my mates and I fell over because my wheel um, buckled and uh, I sprained it all there and uh, I had quite a few major other ones. We're timber engineers. And now we're known pretty well throughout the South East. I like cars too, but there's getting too many cars and you know, pollution and that, so I think bikes. Happiest jobs to do because, you know, we're making people happy. Um, everyone that comes in feels better when they go out. So I want you to do for me, okay, is uh, can you do this for me? Just get the cars and cut them in half, put them on the bottom, like that. I used to be in the boys' football team. But because at a certain age you have to leave and go to a girls' team, I joined the girls' team in Leon C, which my mum found advertised in the newspaper. We had a small ice cream factory which we shared with the news agents, Tremaine's. I'm going to turn around, yeah. all right, and you're going to do it, do it again until you're happy, OK? The team I'm in, the Canvey sponsors them. So I've actually been a ball girl and been on the pitch and done demonstrations. Now take the next top card and put it in your left trouser pocket without looking. I've been clipped in the balls and me and my mates sometimes just go down there to watch them win or sometimes lose. What I'm going to try and do, OK? What I'm going to try and do is get your guess. And I think we should have more like parks and things like that because the more people there are, the more cars there is, the more noise there is, the less safer it is. OK, first card, I'm getting a uh, black card. King, King, I think. Yeah, King, King. And the secretary said to me, he said, Jack, there are 20 widows there. He said, in out there dancing. He said, it's so wonderful. He said, look at them, he said, they, they, they would have been very miserable if they'd been at home, no one, no friends. He said, hundreds of friends, it's so wonderful. That was from the secretary, he said that whilst I was there, which is true. We had one or two other beach chaos. I think we could do with a few more because Everybody needs shops and there's not a lot of shops.
For candy. King of Spice and Ace of Spades. Which card do you think is in what pocket? Guess. King of Spades, Ace of Spades? Ace of Spades, King of Spades. I'm getting that more King of Spades and yeah. that one more Ace of Spades, OK? Yeah. Take that one out. That should be the King of Spades. King of Spades? Yeah. And that one should it's be the Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Cam is just a special place, it's on its own. This was originally part of the Labworth farm, the field and everything behind it. Uh, and the building just absorbed its name from, from the farm that it was on. When we took the building over, we just thought, well, everyone knew of it as the Labworth up at the seafront sort of thing, and it was the, the best thing to you know, keep the name as it was, and which we have. It's also like a grade two listed building as well. Uh, originally designed part, partially by the engineer Ovarup, who was also responsible for the Sydney Opera House as well. Uh, it's one of the first precast concrete structures in England. Indeed, wonderful. Candy has been good to us. There's no doubt about it. It's like a ginormous magnet. It's Around Canvey is West Ham, West Ham and Arsenal. I think West Ham, uh, uh, there's a few more of them than the others, I'm pleased to say.